First off, the thurifer will need to gather the required materials. All of the needed items are stored in the cabinet above the sink. These include the charcoal pieces, tongs, glass platter, lighters, and incense. In the sacristy, you'll find the thurible hanging on a golden stand and the incense boat sitting on top of the stand. Remove the thurible from the pole. Open the thurible by raising the chain connected to the top half of the sensor and set it on the counter next to the sink. Open the boat and check to see if more incense is needed. The boat should not be less than half full. If more incense is needed, simply pour some from the container into the boat. Once filled, place the boat back on top of the thurible stand. The charcoal should be lit 10 to 15 minutes prior to the start of mass. Using the tongs, pick up one charcoal and light it with the lighter over the glass platter. You may also simply lay the charcoal into the inner basket and light the coal. Continue lighting the entire charcoal until it begins to turn white or grayish on the edges of the charcoal piece. Be patient. It will take a little time for the charcoal to start heating up. In most cases, a second charcoal piece will be required before the incense is used during mass. If a second charcoal is needed, the thurifer must heat up the additional charcoal piece at the start of the first reading. Again, if a second charcoal is needed, it will need to be lit in the sacristy at the start of the first reading. Once the second charcoal is lit and has gray edges, the thurifer will bring the sensor out of the sacristy and hang it on the stand by the column. After lighting the first charcoal prior to mass, the thurifer or another designated server should set the thurible stand next to the column by the altar server seats. Ensure the boat is filled with incense and is placed on top of the stand. The censer will remain in the sacristy until needed for the gospel.